the best. We'll start over. The Holy Gospel for today comes from the Gospel of St. John, the 12th chapter. The next day, the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. The crowds that had been with him, when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, continued to bear witness and the reason why the crowd went out to meet him was that they heard of what he had done, this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see that you are gaining nothing? Look at the world has gone after him. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was in Bethsaida, in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told John, Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now, it, now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and it will be glorified it again. And the crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come from your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of the world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I then, uh, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up. Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We sing together the closing verses of 4 and 5 of All Glory, Laud, and Honor.
grace, peace, and mercy from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Palm Sunday today covers John 12, and we know it as the good. We know, we know it as Palm Sunday when Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem takes place. A little boy was sick on Palm Sunday and stayed home from church with his mother, but his father returned from church holding palm branches in his hand. The little boy was curious and asked, Why do you have those palm branches, Dad? You see, my son, when Jesus came into town, everyone waved palm branches at him to honor him. So we got palm branches today. The little boy replied, Ah, oh, shucks. The one Sunday I miss is the one that Jesus shows up for. You know, this morning we celebrate Palm Sunday, and we are reminded that Jesus enters into Jerusalem. But sometimes we're like that little boy because we feel that we have missed Jesus. I mean, especially when we spend our lives worshiping him. Sometimes in areas of faith, we wonder, is it us that has missed Jesus? Maybe the problem with that is that we're simply not understanding that Jesus is our King, our Savior who ascends into heaven after the resurrection to sit at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us now. So with confidence we can be assured of that, that we haven't missed Jesus. Jesus is right here present with us as our Savior interceding for us he sees us and cares for us. That's what we need to remember, especially as we live our lives. You know, we have filled our lives with so many things that it can sometimes make us wonder, what exactly are we giving to Jesus? You notice that the crowds that day worshipped him. On that day they said, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, a word that means praise and welcome, a word that means saves. But later on, more crowds and more people and voices would cry out, Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. Palm Sunday is one of those strange days when we observe Jesus' triumphal entry. A triumph, but yet a sad entry. As we know that he will go to die on the cross. It's called Good Friday because the fact is that it's good for you and me but not for our Savior, not for the one that we love and the one that we care for, but it's the one whose purpose and the reason for why he came. You see, Jesus, our Savior, comes to save. He comes to die on the cross, and it's so important that he does enter Jerusalem. He is praised as a king, and the world will see him die on a cross but to those that believe in him and have faith in him, they know that he lives. They know that this Savior will die on a cross. It's interesting, isn't it? When Pontius Pilate asks, where is your kingdom? And Jesus says, not of this world. And Pilate brushes that aside as though that's foolish. The crowds don't realize who Jesus is. They cry out, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. But we know who he is. He is the one who cares for us, the one who watches over us, the one who preserves us. He is the one who is our Savior. I've always been mindful of the fact that Palm Sunday is a joyful time, a joyful time for us, because it begins our celebration. We go to the depths of despair when we see our Savior die on the cross, but we also rise to victory as we see that he conquers death itself. In these next few worship services, we will look at the cost that Jesus carried out and exactly what it meant for him to be abandoned by God on the cross. But we will then also celebrate for us the love that Jesus has for us. So may we say, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Isn't it wonderful to know that we have a Savior who watches over us, who is concerned about us, who has us in his hands? At times like this, it's important for us to realize that. 
With joy we can see our Savior as he enters Jerusalem, not to be served, but to come and serve. May we find strength in that. Amen. Today we would like to confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Together we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With that said, let us pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we come before you. In victory you have overcome death in the grave. As you came into Jerusalem that day and were proclaimed king, May we as well pray claim you as king in our lives, as we say, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Strengthen us, Lord, in our walk, even in what we're going through now as a nation. We know that our hearts are filled with anxiety and fear, and we wonder at times, where are you, Lord? But help us never to be without belief that you are our king, who sits on the throne in heaven, and who intercedes for us daily. May we, Lord, always look to you as the one who is overcoming all things and who holds us in your hands. We pray, Lord, for those among us who are dealing with illness. We pray for those that still have to go to work, for first responders, for police and firefighters, for doctors and nurses who man hospitals that are filled with coronavirus. We pray for those that come home every day, tired in their own life, we ask that you would strengthen those that have lost job, that they soon may return to work. We pray for the unemployed among us, that you would strengthen them. We pray for our nation. We pray for those that have been blessed with much to feel and share with those that do not have enough. We ask all these things, Lord, and we ask that you come quickly to put an end to this virus. We pray, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We are bold to pray together the little prayer our Lord has taught us. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Our closing hymn, Ride On, Ride On in Majesty.
Palm Sunday. We pray that you may be blessed during this week. There are some resources that are provided on our, uh, in the PDF that we're sending to you. We also pray that you may find strength in reading God's Word. Several other Bible verses will be provided so that you may gather with your family around God's Word. We look forward to the day that we can come back together as a church and worship in person. But until then, may the Lord bless you and strengthen you. If you're looking for a church home, please consider Trinity and join and visit us after all of this passes. We pray that God would make it pass quickly. May the Lord bless you and keep you in His grace. Amen.